What is going on you guys and welcome back to another LumaFusion Zoom Transition Effects tutorial. This time we're going to create the Earth Zoom Transition and this is the transition going all the way from space down to your desired location. And for the first time I've actually added this as a template for you to get off of Selfie if, you, if you're not interested in following along the tutorial. That template is a little bit more advanced than what we're going to create in this tutorial and the template which is on Selfie looks like this. But we're going to create something similar in this tutorial as well. So without further ado, let's just jump over to the iPad, LumaFusion, and start creating this awesome Zoom transition. So once we get over to LumaFusion, we want to go over to Google Earth. We can also use the Maps app, but we're going to choose Google Earth for this tutorial. So once we get over to Google Earth, you already see that I'm fully zoomed in on Miami Beach. And uh, let's zoom out so we can see the entire globe here, just like that. So the first step of this uh, tutorial is to take a three or four photos. And you simply do that by going into Google Earth and take a snapshot by clicking on this button right here. This will take a screenshot of your uh, globe and you save this to your files folder. I recommend that you make a specific folder just like I did, which is called World Transitions, and you save all your photos there. So once you've taken the first photos, you can double tap uh, on the place where you want to zoom in. So that is Miami Beach right here, and we're gonna double tap one more time. So four taps, and we're gonna take a new photo. Uh, four more taps or five more taps. Let's see here. And we can take another photo and we can go as close as we want to go for our transition. I've already taken a lot of photos. Uh, so um, let's jump over to LumaFusion here. And you can see that I have the photos here. This is the earth. This is another one, which is a little bit closer to uh, Miami. And the next one is closer to Miami Beach as well. And the last one is at the uh, kind of where the boats come in, you know, and um, we have uh, the South Beach here. So these are the photos that we're going to animate now to create this effect, which is looking like this. And the first thing we're going to do is to go into edit and then over to frame and fit. You want to leave it as default here because if you put it in the original position where it's fitting inside a frame here, you're going to get the Google icon. You can always do that and then use the cropping here and just crop in so we don't see the icon at all or the logo here but I'm simply going to choose the uh, basic placement of it, which is this. So once we get over to size and position again, we're going to go to the beginning and we're going to make a keyframe. Now we want to go a couple of seconds here. Let's say uh, 0.25 frames and make another keyframe. And we want to pinch to zoom in a tiny bit, just like that. Let's do our playback. Perfect. Next is to go to this uh, second keyframe that we made and then go four frames forward in time. So one, two, three, four. And we want to zoom in just a tiny bit and we want to change the position of it. Four more frames, one, two, three, four. Zoom in just a tiny bit more, just like that. Change the placement again. And four more, one, two, three, four. Zoom in change the placement and one, two, three, four and change the placement again. One, two, three, four. At the end here, we want to have sort of five, 10 to 15 frames so we can finish off the zoom in towards the next image. And we're going to do that by zooming slow and then faster and faster. Let's count how many frames there is until the end here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 12, 13, 14, or something like that. So that is enough. So that means on the next keyframe here, we're going to start going one frame at a time. 
So we're gonna go one keyframe and we're gonna zoom in again a little bit. One more keyframe, a little bit more, one more, and so on. You can follow the procedure to see how I zoom in on this transition as well. thing we want to do is to make sure that Miami is centered within the frame here so we simply do that by go to the last keyframe and then adjust the position of the image just like that then we go to the frame before and we do the exact same thing and the next one and the one before that and you do this with every single keyframe you feel that there is necessary to do this by doing this you will also create some uh, uh, shake to the zoom as well if you want to have that and uh, this has been shown in my target zoom transition as well which I already have made a video of and I'll make sure to link that in the description below as well. So now that we've finished with the first one let's uh, do a playback on this and see how it looks. Perfect. Now we could copy this effect here and place it on the next one but the reason why we don't want to do that is because at the beginning this is going really really slow and we kind of want to start this next one here as we end this one so this is going from slow to fast and on the next one we want to do the opposite which is fast to slow so we're going to go on and create the animation on this as well. And once we're finished with the animation on this, we can simply take that animation and we can copy over to the next one. And since this is our last photo here, we're only going to make a simple zoom in transition at the beginning of this clip. So now let's go over to the second image and over to frame and fit, go to the beginning, make a keyframe, and then we're going to leave the first keyframe as it is now. And we're going to go one keyframe forward in time and we're going to start with one sort of hard zoom. So we're going to scale this up and uh, a good tip is to scale this up until the blue lines here, which you see on the left side, is just getting underneath the frame of the iPad here. Just like, just like that. Perfect. Now we're going to go one frame forward in time. We're going to zoom in a little bit more. One more, and one more, and we can now start to slow down the zoom. So we slow down the zoom by going one keyframe forward in time and then zooming in uh, less than we did to begin with. And uh, we kind of make this uh, easy ease zoom here. Perfect. So now that we've done that, we can go out to the timeline and we can take a look and we can see how it looks. Let's do a playback. Perfect. So now what we can do is to go into edit on the uh, photo right here one more time. And we can go over to the last keyframe here. And again, we're going to go four frames forward in time. So one, two, three, four. And now we're going to adjust the position of this image. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna just again, one, two, three, four, and again, one, two, three, four, and so on. You can also follow the procedure to see how I adjust the image. So now that we have the same amount of space here as we have the keyframes here or uh, approximately, we can start making the zoom in transition. So the way that we do that is to go to the last keyframe here, 
we go one frame forward in time and we start zooming in really slow. Don't worry about the placement of the location where you want to zoom in because you can change that after you made all these keyframes. So I rather focus on zooming in and then changing the placement of the uh, uh, picture or image or photo, video, whatever you are uh, zooming into after you made the keyframes here. So now we're gonna start zooming in just a little bit and we're gonna go faster and faster. So now you can also see that the Miami coastline here is sort of misplaced. So again, we're gonna go to the last keyframe here and we're just gonna adjust the position of the photo. We're gonna go to the one before and do the same thing. One before that, same thing. One before that, and again, the same thing. So you adjust the image on the keyframes and you adjust as many as you wish. This is all individual on how you want to adjust and make this a transition, but you can also follow the steps in this tutorial to make it exactly the same way as I do. So now that we are finished with that one as well, we can go to the beginning here, we can scrub through. We see that we zoom in to the next one here and it has some shake and then it zooms in and it comes over to the next one here. So what we can do now is to simply copy this effect on this image right here and you do that by tapping on the clipboard here and copy. Now go to the next photo and paste. So now you see that we have the zoom coming in here and it's coming in on the next one as well and it stops, has some shakes to it and then it zooms in again. So that means we don't have to do anything else with this clip uh, other than tweaking the keyframes if we want to do that. And that leaves us with the last photo. So the last photo is really simple. We're gonna go over to frame and fit and over to the beginning and make a keyframe. We're gonna go frame by frame this time. So one frame forward in time and we're gonna zoom in a little bit like that. And here it's important on the last keyframe that you don't go higher than 120 in size because if you do, you're gonna lose a lot of quality. Since these photos here are only full HD or even less, we don't want to zoom in that much on the last one because we're gonna lose quality. If you use the videos, you can uh, of course go higher. If you use some drone footage or anything like that, which is 4K, you have the option to zoom further more. But for this one, we have to go for 120 only. So we're gonna go over to the next one here and uh, zoom this in a little bit more like that. And we're now gonna start to, let's see here. Second is 110, then we want this one to maybe be 16. And the fourth one maybe, uh, let's see, 17.8. Next one, we're just gonna go a couple of uh, different uh, size uh, changes here on the keyframes, we could go slower as well, uh, but it's all up to you and individual or what you want to do. I think we're gonna go to around 22 here, just so we can drag it out a little bit longer. And 22. Now let's go back to the timeline here and see how this looks perfect. So let's do a playback of the entire sequence here that we put together and see what it looks like. Perfect. So the only thing that's left now is to add some short zooms in between these clips. And we can do that by going over to uh, color and effects, water droplet, and then down to the uh, short zoom. And we can go to the end, make a keyframe, and we can go to the beginning here of where the zoom in starts. So it starts around here. And we can change the amount to uh, zero. 
make sure that on the last keyframe uh, you want to uh, have this uh, blue dot here on the spot where you are zooming in and you want to have that on the first one as well uh, a good tip for your uh, transition to look better so now we have the short zoom applied to this let's apply to the next photo here as well so water droplet and short zoom and the beginning and then make a keyframe and you can also see that i keep this on default which is five i don't want to go any higher than five i'd rather go lower than five but we're going to see how this turns out to be uh, so we're going to place this here on miami beach go forward in time until the zoom in stops and a little bit back here like that and then take this down to a zero and we're going to go to the end of the clip here and we're going to make a keyframe right here and then go to the end and change the amount to 4.26 and then now we have a short zoom added to the second one as well so now let's uh, scrub through here so you can see how this easily improved the zoom. You can also add clouds and you can also add different airplanes. You can add boats here as well. Uh, it's all up to you what you want to add, but this is basically the easy way of creating a world zoom transition. I will also leave some attributes in the description below so you can download planes, clouds and everything, which is uh, transparent files. So you can use them for your world zoom transition as well. And with that said, that's how you create this super awesome earth zoom transition. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can get this off of self which is the with the clouds and planes and all that and it's really easy to customize if you want to do that rather than make one yourself it is really easy to make but if you want to speed up your kind of travel videos i already made a template for you and with that said that's the end of the video as well let me know what you think of this uh, transition in the uh, comment section below and as well subscribe if you're new to this channel to not miss any videos like this in the future and i'll see you guys in the next video